H-F-U. Hunt Fish University. All right, Bob. That fish literally leaped out of the water with he, that. He wanted it bad. You know, uh, I'm using an inch and a half line. You've got one three and a half inches. And I, I'll be doggone if I don't think they like your three and a half inch one better. <laughs> They tell you, you know, there's a famous saying going around you, give them groceries, you get the bigger fish. Oh, you foul hooked it, you. Open up, open up. But they're barbless and they just zip right out. <laughs> All right. Woo! I didn't bring my crying towel this morning and wash my hands. <laughs> Dry my hands, and so I'm going to have slimy pants by the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Flash. There, there oh, he is. Yeah. He's okay. Oh, nice. Nice going, Tom. Nice, nice going. Nice. Bob, when, when they get it on top early morning, we aren't dragging the we aren't dragging a heavy line and an eight weight's just about right. That's right. Yeah, it's a lot of fun with these light rods. I still like to I've still got a 12, I think I've got a 15 pound tippet here because if you get one in the bushes. There we go. Beautiful. A lot of a lot of anglers make a mistake of using too light leaders and too light tippets for most anything they fish for. And uh, the first thing that happens, you get a prize fish on and you can't get it out of the brush, and, and you end up losing your, your uh, prize catch of the day. Yeah. Very nice, very nice fighting fish. Ooh, he got me in the face. <laughs> but uh, these, these, these fish, though, hanging in this brush, occasionally have to be pulled across a log. Or mm -hmm. even better, you might have to straighten your hook a little bit, and 15 pounds will do that. Yes, it will. And with this water a little off color, you don't need a six or an eight pound tippet. No. no. Bob, while I've, while I've got you here, and uh -huh. while I can get it from the horse's mouth, why is a Clouser minnow a fly and not a light jig? Why is it a fly and not a light jig? Right, you know, because you, you hear this all the time, I know. Yeah. Uh, I, I still don't know what the real true definition of a fly is, but mostly uh, I think that all the little lures, let's call the thing a lure, uh, even the jig or something like that, there's a method or a style of building it or putting it together. And the Clouser minnow is a method of tying something that we can fish on a fly rod and cast. Uh, it's awful hard to cast a one ounce jig on a fly rod. And I don't think you can fish even the Clouser minnow like you could fish a jig on a spinning outfit. Of course not. Uh, and yeah. I think what makes the Clouser minnow so effective is the action, the same action and the darting action that a jig uh, can get coming through current or bouncing across the bottom. And uh, uh, I get kind of excited. Uh, everybody will say, well, it's nothing but a jig, but you know, the jig is the best lure in the world. And I feel kind of elated when my <laughs> fly is related to the best lure in the world. So I get kind of happy when I hear that. Yeah, and you know, I've, I've tied weighted flies for years, and I wire and wire and wire and wire, and, and, yeah. and, and you get a heavy fly, but you just put all the weight at the head and uh, and made it wobble better. And exactly. It's just, it's just a different way of weighting a fly. I think that most fly anglers, after they get into fly fishing over a period of time, find out that they need weighted flies to catch a lot of species of fish. And if you don't have the right fly at the right time, you're not going to enjoy your day and catch your fish on your fly rod. And, and whether you're on top or fishing a clouser minute, it gives you a complete arsenal from top, from top e all the way exactly. down. Exactly. I so see you put on a yellow clouser minnow, Bob. Uh, yes, it did. Uh, Tom, I put it on for, for the reason uh, that right. uh, I wasn't getting a lot more action off the surface. So uh, I thought, well, we'll try it underneath a little while. Maybe we had them disturbed a little bit in there. You and, know, uh, in, in seemed the, to be, uh, did the trick for us that time. In the, uh, in the early morning, we'll start off with an eight or a nine weight rod with the top water. And then mm -hmm. I usually go to a nine or a 10 weight simply because I like something that gives you a little lifting power in the current. That's right, that's right. I, uh, that's why this is a 10 weight I have here and I, and I, I just love it. It's an all around rod for saltwater fish, yeah. I think. Damn, just hold on. Oh, oh, oh wow, okay, you got okay, another okay. hookup. Yeah. <laughs>
Wow! Hey, this is a bigger fish. That's good. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> Okay. What's your favorite color for in this river when you go underwater? Anything, like Henry Ford said, you can. I'll sell you anything so long as it's chartreuse and white. Chartreuse and white. Chartreuse that's, and white. That seems to be a good universal color for everything. That's. That's our standby on the Susquehanna River uh, but, for smallmouth bass uh, also. If you love fishing in the great outdoors, you'll love Angler's Bay. Anglersbaystore.com is the official online store of Carolina Outdoor Journal apparel and gifts. From hats, t-shirts, jackets, and more. Angler's Bay features artwork from two of the top marine artists in the country. Speckled trout, red drum, and striped bass are featured with more on the way. Our products make ideal gifts for the angler in your family who enjoys the great sport of fishing. Check us out on the web year-round at anglersbaystore.com. Good fishing. Yes, Whoa, sir. That's, that's a better fish. What did I tell you about them big oh, flies, yeah, bigger yeah. fish? Pretty fish. <laughs> Very oh, nice. that's a beautiful-looking striper. Look Very at that. nice. Okay. Okay. Yes, indeed. Okay, well, I, I think the afternoon bite has begun. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, Bob. I'm going to go back to your side over here now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to fish until you get him near the boat. I'm tired of this. <laughs> You're tired. I, all I've done is land your fish, and I can't get a line in the water. I'll get it. i got to land my own. And land, <laughs> land your own fish. I'm... I just land my own. <laughs> if, it, if it's a good one, I may not trust you with it. <laughs> And I'm just going to lay this down, let mine drift back. I've got plenty of slack there. Oh, a little better. About the same, yeah. This water is still cool and full of oxygen. There's that little belly release. Okay, whoa. There we go. All right. Isn't that, aren't they pretty? They are gorgeous. All right. Very good, very good. Very nice. Well, let me get one cast. I'm going to let... Okay, I want to get one cast in the water. I think you should catch one of them fish, don't ah, you? Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm tired of being a nice, a nice southern host. To heck with that. You guys won the war. This is... My dad used to talk about customer golf, where you let the, let the outsider catch the fish. <laughs> Or, or win the golf game. And, and yeah. You, you, you've got their number over here. Is that a better fish? It's the same thing. I think they're all about the same size. They feel good. They all feel good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Well, he didn't want to come up. Okay. Oh, barbless. Look at nice. this. Look at that. Very good, very okay, good. Okay, here we go. I'll try to get him on on this side. Okay, well, let's get one larger if we can, but if not, I still want to run up and catch a, catch a big fish this afternoon while the lights, uh, when we get the light down below the tree line. Okay. Okay. Nicely done, sir. Nope. Okay, there, there he is. Are, there All right. you are. Okay, okay, that was a faster retrieve. Yes, sir. Is that what you were doing? Yes, sir. You didn't tell me? No, sir. <laughs> that is all the nice things I've done for you today, we, and you didn't tell me you were retrieving faster. We, we have to keep some things to ourselves. <laughs> Gee, all right. Okay, this is this That's is a clear, nice fish. clearly a better fish than anything you've caught. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably the larger one of the ball of all of them. Yeah, get him back back here. <laughs> Would you do the honors finally? Yeah, let me let me land that for you. Let me get okay, my rod well, you, it's, you grab the lower lip <laughs> and it's. You get the lower lip, and then there's a barbless hook on it. You stick the barbless hook in your thumb. <laughs> there you go. Yes, indeed. And you know, they're little, they're little side, side creeks all over this river. They just, they're, they're, they're part of the river, but they just, they run back through these forests. And little deep runs like this are always full of fish in April, May, and early June. Oh, well, that's... It's a little female. Okay. 
There's your fly, Mr. Earnhardt, and there's your beautiful fish. Thank you, sir. Isn't that wonderful? And I'm not going to kiss it. You're not going to kiss it? I don't okay, kiss I'm going to slide it back in the water. Very nice and tender. Okay, a lot of teal. See, thank you, sir. Very nice. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, would you like to catch one more? <laughs> <laughs> Do elephants like peanuts? <laughs> Oh, nice. Nice size one, too. Yeah. And it's a cool fish. I mean, this is... That's, this, that's right. That's, this is a gentleman. We're out fish. of the heat. I'd offer him a 7-Up if he wanted it. <laughs> okay, very nice. I do want to have nice belly release in there for him. All right. Face him away. Pretty. That's a gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah, all right. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, very, very nice, sir. You know, in a little while, we ought to get back on the river. It's getting later on. The sun's mm -hmm. getting long. We'll, we'll get back we'll try and try to, to, try to, big try to catch some big ones on the surface. Yeah. If you love fishing in the great outdoors, you'll love Angler's Bay. Anglersbaystore.com is the official online store of Carolina Outdoor Journal apparel and gifts. From hats, t-shirts, jackets, and more. Angler's Bay features artwork from two of the top marine artists in the country. Speckled trout, red drum, and striped bass are featured with more on the way. Our products make ideal gifts for the angler in your family who enjoys the great sport of fishing. Check us out on the web year-round at anglersbaystore.com. Good fishing. a variety of baits and lures here on the Roanoke. We've used the topwater baits and we've used uh, the jigs from a quarter of, a quarter of an ounce up to an ounce and then of course the clouser minnow and there's no better time to learn how than from you. So could you show me a clouser minnow right quick? No, I sure will. I'll show you how to tie it. Uh, we just put the uh, weighted eyes on the hook and uh, we can put them in really any position but I like them uh, towards the front end. Uh, they add weight and movement to the fly and the fly is very uh, easy to put together, and I like to use deer tail hair for the belly. And uh, I know a lot of the fly tires wonder why I put the belly on the top of the hook, but when the fly is pulled through the water, it turns upside down, so we just normally put the belly on first. And uh, uh, once it's secure, I just turn it upside down, and we put a little flash in the center. The flash is supposed to represent the side of a minnow when it turns and the sun reflects the light off of it. So we just add that in the middle of the fly and I like to let a little hang out the back end mm -hmm. of the fly. Uh, it also aids in twisting and turning motion of the fly. And I'm going to attach the back. This is actually the finished step or the last step that will be done to the fly. And uh, I like to put a darker color on. Of course, we have a white belly and a dark back, which all minnows represent. And uh, we just attach the deer tail hair down to the front of the hook. And this fly can be tied in a variety of sizes for all types of fish, just by increasing or decreasing the length of it. It can also be tied with uh, man-made materials, similar to uh, uh, plastics or you know crystal flash, uh, things like that can, can be added into the fly, and by golly, it's, it doesn't take long to get a, an effective fly finished. And, of course, uh, you know, those of us who tie can tie different colors, uh, colors and sizes for both fresh and salt water. Uh, these are striper sizes, and these are albacore sizes, yeah. but uh, there's no better fly from the rivers to the ocean all the way to the mountain trout streams. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. For